Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason with Wolf Overland and today we are going to go do a two year review of the Anvil Overland mounting system for your JT Gladiator or JL Wrangler. Let me first start off by saying that I've purchased everything in this setup with my own money and are no way sponsored or endorsed by Anvil Overland. After two years of use, I have some pros and cons of this system, but in my experience, it is still the best system on the market that fits my Overland lifestyle. The Anvil Overland mounting system is made right here in America with all aluminum parts. You are also able to pick different colors with almost an unlimited mounting configuration. The product itself is rock solid when bouncing around Moab or teetering on Black Bear Pass. The quality is great for the most part. Customer service is one of the best that I've dealt with. So let's dig into my setup. So here we are with the final result. This is the Anvil Overland dash mount system. So right here, keep your walkie talkie for quick in and out. Every time you get out of your car to spot someone, you can grab a walkie talkie really quick, help out. And it's still out of the way of the grab handle when you're getting in and out. This walkie talkie mount works great. Works great with the Midlands uh, handheld walkie talkies. And then next up, this is the XL phone mount spring loaded so you can technically just do it one hand like so as of february you can only get the xl mount in black but you can get the regular mounts in a variety of colors we have a power cable for it here we have a power cable for this and we have a power cable for this, all the USB 3.0, which the wires run down under here, you pull the display out and then I wired in one of those, I'll put a link in the description below on Amazon. If you do hardwire this on at all times, like I did, if you ever have to jumpstart your battery, or replace your battery, you have to pull the display back out and press the power on button again on this switch on here. If you do hard mount it originally on top, the LED backlight of this switch creates a huge glare at night. So I would rather tuck it back inside the radio and drill a small hole where you can feed the wires through under the plastic mat that's up there. One of those 3.0 um, power sockets that we keep on at all times. So all of these can charge at all times. Or you can wire it up into the uh, Keon engine off. But I have these three wired on to be hot at all times. And then moving along, we have the Garmin inReach. This is for satellite communication. So it looks like they upgraded the Garmin inReach Mini to a version two should be no problem with that one and then i use this mount off amazon the anvil overland mount rattles around a lot it's secure but it made a lot of noise when driving um it has an app with the apple tablet so you can text everything from the tablet and this just sends it up to the satellite um we use this to check in at night when we don't have cell phone service so everyone knows where we're at moving along we have a apple tablet that I use for all my navigation, even though the Jeep does have navigation, which is a good, you know, backup, but Gaia, Onyx, Trails Off-Road, everything is downloaded to this tablet. When I bought this tablet, I bought it with one of the highest memory capacity, so I can just keep all this map data in here and not worry about downloading all the time. So this works really well. I did have a rattle issue with this, but Larry at Anvil Overland 
sent an updated version for me that he just designed with a little clamping screw on the back that would stop the rattle completely. He really needs to apply that engineering to the Garvin inReach mount bracket to stop that from rattling as well. Um, and that's it. You can add on extra stuff, obviously. Some people put a phone charger over there for the passenger, but this works for us. So the Anvil does have this setup available for the 2024 Wranglers and Gladiators, which have the longer display. They have it where it mounts right in the middle, I believe. And they do carry it for the 4XE as well, which have, it has a different mounting system. Anvil Overland does carry these for side-by-sides and the uh, JK model uh, Jeeps. So JK, JLs, JT, Gladiators, and then side-by-sides, they have this mounting system. So basically goes into the bolt back here on both sides, and then you have a center support too. And it's robust. I've used this for, you know, obviously about almost two years now so and again this is my third replacement bar because of sun fading but this one seems a lot darker than the other ones so hopefully this rectifies it if not they also sent me a black bar but i like i like the red color on here it just you know it looks really good from the outside looking in and everything stays really secure you don't the tablets and everything they don't lose their position when bouncing around so that's what i like about it tablet fits well i still have great visibility when driving and uh i recommend this one guys so with all those pros the only two cons i have is one obviously the rattle if you have the garmin in reach mount from anvil overland it has a rattle to it and the second and final issue i have is probably specific to this one color option for the mounting bar that goes across i opted for red and every 8 to 12 months i dealt with the sun fading the color from red to a whitish red towards the windshield facing side of the bar i replaced it last year and larry at anvil overland sent me a free replacement at no charge and again this year, he sent me another free replacement after I emailed him about it fading out again after about 8 to 12 months. And he sent me another one, no charge, um, a new red bar as well as a black bar to try out. I noticed the new red bar was a little bit different color of red. It's a little bit more of a darker color than the previous ones that I was sent. So hopefully they have the UV protection dialed in. We should see with the sun fade on the red color. Um, other friends I have with different colors don't have any experience with the UV fade issue that I've had. Um, even with this issue, I would buy again and still recommend this product. One of the best on the market. So the one on the left is the newer design, the newer color, which has a little bit more of a candy apple like a darker, it's a little bit darker, which is probably what they're doing to prevent it from doing that lightning, that, but. Let's uh, get it on there and see what it looks like. Well, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. My last video did really well. I think after two days, we're already at like 4K views. So I'm really impressed with that. Um, thanks for helping by liking, subscribing, leaving a comment really helps the algorithm. Uh, we're still trying to grow the channel. Um, I'm going to put all links down below um, for everything that, you know, I listed on here. As far as the power supply that I use, the cables that I've used, and then obviously Anvil Overland. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.